All right, Congressman Brooks, what is happening? Please, please tell me. Please, t- please tell me what is happening. Well, it's what I tried to warn people about a year ago. Uh, we have a candidate who has never run for public office before, has never been in the heat of the battle, has never learned from the types of mistakes that you make when you're in a vigorous campaign. Uh, he's being vetted now, never been vetted before, and the Democrats have a wealth of material, and it's being unleashed. It's being it, un- it, it, All of it's perfectly foreseeable. It's, it's what I did my best to warn people about. Now we're in the position we're in, and we have to do the best we can going forward. Now, like you said, we all saw this. It was all completely foreseeable. Every aspect of this uh, was easily uh, seen as going to happen. Does this change your math at all? I, I read a I read a uh, I read a headline yesterday on Facebook, and it was from AL dot com. So you know, take take of course with a a giant uh, grain uh, of salt. Uh, take with a grain of salt here, but it, it said pretty clearly that you were sort of going to vote for the Republican candidate, but you wouldn't say you were voting for Donald Trump. Now, I'm not an idiot. So I can read between the lines here, and apparently uh, Paul Gaddis or whoever puts the Facebook post together at AL.com can't. If you're going to vote for every Republican candidate, that that, mean, that means you're going to vote for Donald Trump. I didn't say that. I said I'm going to vote for every Republican that is on the ballot. Uh, is the implication here that Donald Trump's not, the, not a Republican? Well, uh, everybody has to make up their own minds about that. Well, what's, what's yours? Uh, I, there are two things I'm saying about uh, this race. One, Hillary Clinton is worse than Donald Trump. I agree. And two, I'm going to vote for every Republican that is on the ballot. (laughs) So um, that's about all you're going to get from me and my personal view about this situation and and how I'm going to vote in November. You know, the reason I ask this question is because I read that and I read the quote and I read and maybe I read it wrong. Maybe I read it wrong. Because when when I read it, I I read that as you were voting for Trump. And now that you're saying it out loud... I mean, that is you're not. And I don't fault you for it. I mean, good Lord, what's the point? I mean, I, I really, uh, I'm a, sort of like I told you before, I'm a meh Trump sort of guy, whatever. It, it is what it is. This is Alabama. He's going to win the state regardless. Uh, if you got some sort of moral issue with it, I, I think that there's really no problem uh, not voting for him, at least in this state. But, I mean, the options are Trump and Hillary Clinton, right? There are no other options. Hillary Clinton is worse than Donald Trump, and I'm going to vote for all of the Republicans on the ballot. <laughs> is Don, Donald Trump's running as a Republican? Dale, you're not going to get a different quote. I, out I of know. It. I'm just going to. I'm just going to have to keep on hammering it, though. I, I'm trying to, to, to drive this home here for a second. So, is Donald Trump a Republican? Is he? Is Donald Trump a Republican? This is going to be a pretty short interview if you keep <laughs> pressing me on it. I'll say what I said, and this will be the third time. Hillary Clinton is worse than Donald Trump uh, as a president of the United States, and I'm going to vote for all the Republicans on the ballot. All right. So it, it, the, the thing about this Did is— you want to ask it again? I can do it four times. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> the, the, here's the problem with that answer. Not that you care, but the problem with this answer is— it leaves a gap where you can just infer whatever you want into that answer, and that's what people will do. That doesn't bother you at all? Voters can infer as they wish. Okay, and that's exactly what they're going to do. That is exactly what they're going to do. I tend to be more of a public policy guy, and quite frankly, I don't think there's anything I can say uh, about this election that is going to affect anyone's opinion one way or the other right now. Uh, Donald Trump is well-known. Hillary Clinton is well-known. And I'm deferring to the judgment of the American people. Congressman Mo Brooks, he'll be with us uh, for a couple more segments. He says he's a policy guy. We'll talk some policy next. Just kidding. You're listening.